Full days of Ashley Home Store's President's Day mattress sale. Last chance to save up to $500 on best-selling Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets. Plus, we're giving away a free Tempur-Pedic sleep system. Ends Monday at Ashley Home Store. If you have a dog in your life, I'm sure that you do everything you can to keep that dog healthy, take it for walks, feed it the right pet food, love on it, all the good things. But how often do you even think about brushing your dog's teeth? That's part of a good dog owners. We're going to get some advice this morning from our good friend and veterinarian, Dr. Jim Hammond. And I have to tell you, all these years we've been talking, you mentioned this quite frequently, and yet I'm in the category. I do dental chews, but the idea of uh, brushing my dog's teeth is daunting to me. It can be daunting, but since that February is National Pet Dental Month, what better time to bring that subject up again? So brushing the teeth is still the gold standard to try and take care of the teeth. Um, dogs can have a lot of the, the same problems that we have. So if you wind up having bad breath with your dog, if you have uh, Obviously, dirty teeth, plaque, tartar that's built up on the teeth. If the gums are getting red, if the dog is very sore with its mouth, like it chews on its food and food falls out of its mouth, those are all telltale signs that you may need to see your veterinarian and actually have a dental cleaning done. But by far, it's a lot cheaper and easier to prevent periodontal disease in pets than it is to have to treat it. So let's talk about the, the prevention mechanism. So I know you'll talk about brushing their teeth and we'll get to that, but you've been a big proponent for a long time about these dental chews. There are some that are better than others, but they can work, right? They can. And uh, so if we take a look at this bag, this is better than any of the ones that we have seen in uh, the pet stores because it, the yellow center and uh, I don't know if you can see that. Hold on the it back. near your nose. Hold it near your nose, Jim. There we go. And up a little. There we go. Yeah. See the, the little center part that's yellow in this green chew? Yeah. And uh, that actually has a sealant in it that provides a barrier against the bacteria that causes the bad breath, the plaque, and the tartar. No. And so dental chews on those cats or dogs that, uh, that are more of a challenge to brush is the next best alternative. We also have enzymatic chews uh, in the form of different shapes and sizes. And for the cats, there's also the little IntelliDents that are cat dental chews. So all of those things are good, but still the gold standard is brushing. Okay, now so. that does not look like a conventional toothbrush. So do you get a special dog brush and toothpaste? You do. Do not use Crest or Colgate. Okay. So the uh, the foaming action, dogs can't rinse and spit, you know, the same way people can. And so we have a non-foaming type toothpaste that uh, you can pick up at the pet store, you can pick it up at the veterinarian. And if you look at the shape of the toothbrush, then there's a big end on this end, and then there's a little end right here on this end. So it depends on the size of the dog as to which one that you go with. But also don't just attack your dog with a toothbrush on day one. We always want to work your way into it. And so I always say just wet my finger under the faucet and then you don't have to open their mouth. You just rub the outside edges of the teeth and uh, give them treats when you do that. Make that about a week long process. And uh, like the second week, then put the toothpaste on your finger. And at that point, just let them lick it off your finger uh, a day or two into doing that, rub it on the teeth, let them lick it off the teeth, praise them, give them plenty of treats afterward, and, uh, and then probably about three weeks into it, then you actually introduce the uh, toothbrush and the, wet it, put some toothpaste on it, let them lick the toothpaste off the toothbrush, get used to the feel of the bristles. And of course, I always say starting at an early age with a puppy uh, or a kitten is the best way to go rather than trying to, uh, you know, just assume that an adult dog is going to take right to it. Right. However, adult dogs, it's never too late to teach an old dog new tricks. And uh, there are many people who have been very successful. People say, how often do you need to do it? Well, you really need to do it every day. Their teeth are like our teeth. So um, people teeth and dog teeth, once you lose a tooth, it's never going to grow back. Horses and sharks, 
they continue to grow teeth. But with people, you lose a tooth, it's gone. If you lose a permanent tooth in a dog, it's gone. Okay. And of course, it can be very painful to the dog if they develop uh, periodontal disease and their gums get really inflamed. I always tell people there's way more of the tooth that's under the gum line than you see above it. It's kind of like an iceberg floating in the ocean. Right. So uh, you just don't realize how much damage can be going on underneath the gum line. Let me ask you this real fast. The quality of dog food that you choose to give your pet, does that affect their dental health? You know, if you do a name brand dog food and they're chewing on dry kibble, that's perfectly fine. The canned foods are also just as nutritionally complete as a dry food if you're name, with one of the name brands. Uh, I like the dry foods because they do crunch on it and kind of scrub their teeth as they're eating it. Uh, and then there are special dental foods. So your veterinarian can uh, give you information about that that actually can help. If you're going to feed your dog anyway, there are some that actually help to scrub the teeth. Okay. And uh, this is what teeth ought to look like in a normal dog. But when you turn the little model around, then you can see all of this redness mm. of the gums. You can see all of the plaque and tartar that builds up on the teeth. They can sometimes have retained teeth, so that little baby tooth is still stuck right there. Mm -hmm. uh, they can have broken teeth. The little bottom tooth right there is broken off. So a lot of the same problems that we have in people, you know, your dog can get as well. They just can't tell you it hurts. Okay. And so having your, your veterinarian do a dental exam with every exam when your pet goes in is paramount to uh, getting their teeth cleaned and keeping them healthy. All right. Well, thank you so much for the advice this morning, Jim. We appreciate it. And the Oravet shoes and those ones that you mentioned, uh, those are only available at a veterinarian's office, correct? You can't you can get those online as well. Okay. But uh, the Oravets are made by the same people that make the Heart Guard and Next Guard for flea and tick and for heartworm and so forth. So excellent company and uh, see your veterinarian and they can give you a lot of direction as far as that goes. All right, Jim Hammond, thank you so much. You can find him and his brother, Dr. Randy Hammond at Northgate Animal Hospital on Hamill Road in Hickson. 875-9033 is their phone number, northgateanimalhospital.com. Thank you again. You're welcome, Julie, enjoyed it. There are numerous guaranteed offers being marketed in our community.